up, so let it grab ya. I got a trick, but my name is Alibaba, so open sesame, never heard the best of me. Bet you all the people in the place, I bet you the rest will see that it's a new beginning. My name, Kwame, and if you didn't know, I can tell you that I'm a Melaku brother, slicker than oil. Rap gets so hot, it makes the spit boil. The rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Glass Can Bottle Beer Reviews. Um, coming at you tonight. Got a great beer. I never had these guys from a boy, No Hype. I always hooking a brother up. No Hype, man. You my man. Um, we got to get up one day. I mean, we can't. I, like, I, I get up, up north, and I just, um, just can't get up with him somehow. But anyway, we're going to do it. Um... So cool when him, him and um, Nerd Sense did. That was awesome, man. Um, be heading, I'm going to be heading up to Pennsylvania um, this summer. Maybe New York, too. So maybe I can get up with No Hype. But anyway, No Hype Crossroads Brewing Company. Uh, this is out of Catskill, New York. 6.2%. It's an IPA. It's new, normal, unfiltered, dry hop, and mosaic. I do want to say this, though. I hate long videos, but I need—I I think I need to say this for all the young folks out there. And I, probably none of them watch my video. But anyway, if you old folk, pass it down to your young folk. Um, I was watching Eminem at Coachella this year, right? And I mean, when 50 Cent comes out, I mean, they, you know, they kind of roll with it a little bit because 50 Cent's more relevant, I guess. He's, got, he's been around a little bit, you know, later. But then Dr. Dre comes out, right? And they sing, and I hate Snoop wasn't there, but M, M was doing um, Snoop's part, nothing but a G thing. And nobody knew the words. Nobody was singing along when they said, nothing but a G thing, baby. We've looked out, homies, so we're crazy. And it put it out, and we know what to say. And it's like, you know, that, and then I met some of the old M and M. But I mean, you know, I know when I went to college, and, and I'm glad I'm doing this on, on No Hype's video because he under, he'll understand this. But like when I went to college, like my parents, my dad was, more, my dad loved music, but he was more in like Motown, um, more of the R&B stuff. Uh, but it was like, I didn't know nothing about Led Zeppelin. I didn't know nothing about Leonard Skinner. I didn't know nothing about um, CCR. I didn't know nothing about um, Joe Cocker, you know, I didn't know that. the Eagles. I mean, I well, maybe the Eagles. My dad was more like Bread, Commodores, um, Phil, Phil Phillips, um, Smokey Robinson, a little bit of Frank Sinatra in that deal, but not, not as much. But anyway, so what I'm saying is this from what I saw from this video, you know, there would be like Northern kids and other kids were, that introduced me into Pink Floyd. Led Zeppelin, um, and you know, and then even like Skinner. I had northern kids introducing me to Skinner, and I'm a southern, but I mean, but it opened my horizons. But what, what scares me when it comes to, to the hip hop, I don't know if these kids are understanding what real hip hop, how it started, and how it was. I mean, you know, some big L, well, even you know, you know. Sugar Hill Gang, but not even that, but even more recent in the 80s and 90s. I mean, you know, you got the, the Kwame's, you, <laughs> Kwame, you got the Kwame's, you got the NWA's, you got the Ghetto Boys. The boy just called me, I had to take that text, but I'm going to take that call. But I mean, like I said, um, you got like Naughty by Nature. Uh, then you got, what, um, PRT. Um, De La Soul, you know, you get, you get all that, man. Um, Tribe Called Quest, these kids, I don't, I don't know if it's trans, trans, lading into, um, the younger kids, you know, I don't, I don't know if they understand it, all they think is the, the Drake and the, um, Cardi B's and the, Man, and, and they got their place. I mean, of course, a new thing, but it's like you got to know where all this comes from. And, 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 and lyricists, man, lyricists. Anyway, whatever. 
I don't have much time for the beer review because I got off got kind of crazy on that. Um, I had to put this back in the fridge. Wow, that's orange juice, man. That's that powder tang orange juice all day. Powder tang orange juice all day on that. Whoa, that's a big old head on that thing. Um, you can see that a couple fingers powder orange juice just like I said tang powder orange juice all day on that <laughs> it's a freaking dirty glass I didn't even use this glass I mean you know dishwasher you can't trust man whatever light mouthfeel not a lot of dancing across the tongue it's just pure orange peel tangerine peel uh, maybe a little lime lemon or lime in there too yeah I and mean, it's a good beer really a lot of bitterness on it bitterness with dryness uh, 70 IBU 6.2 it's darn good beer new and normal Crossroads Brewing Company Mosaic El Dorado and Amarillo that kind of makes sense with the hops that are in it it's smoothing out uh, like I said I I like starting pouring beers and sitting them a little bit before I drink them. They get better. But right now, it's a lot of just orange and tangerine. A lot of orange peel, tangerine peel. A little bit of maybe a lemon-lime thing going on. But the built, the built, the pill, the pill bitterness is really taking over. We almost even get the lemon-lime in it, but you do get it. I said the video is too long. Good beer. New Normal. Crossroads Brewing Company. Catskill, New York. Thank you.